Hi, Kathy. You need to take a picture, didn't you? No, I didn't. It's recording. Oh. How do you feel about surprising your family? I am really excited. They can't really see you, but they can hear you. It's okay. We're almost there. We're pulling in. It's gonna be awesome. We're kind of the back way. Okay. All right. Anything else you want to say? I love my family. And I love you. <laughs> love you too. Ladies and gentlemen. No! Hey! Oh my god! Oh my god, we were just talking about you! That is too funny! Did you guys know her? No. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> How did you get here? <laughs> I mean, duh. Well, that's why she I picked him up. in town. Was to pick him Aww. up in the airport or something. We were just talking, oh. she just made him a Valentine's. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you can come give it to me. They're so sweet! Lizzie's like, Are you home for the weekend? Yeah. Just the weekend? Yeah. Aww. Katie, you accept the. Oh. I did. I didn't know. I actually suspected you were coming early. <sighs> no! I just figured it out. You. Hi! Kristen's like, Why is Dad always over by the door? Did you know? This is what he was doing two seconds ago. Standing there like this, bopping the ball. Like, no. What is he no. doing? No. He was he was he was he no, he's like, I can't believe it's snowing so much. It's snowing. It's actually snowing in Michigan. I'm like, Dad, it's snow. And he's like, but it hasn't snowed all winter. <laughs> what a sweet surprise. Yeah, we already went to Starbucks and said hi to everybody. I know you. We all went to the mall. We, we got, we, my Which mall did you go to? No, you all went to the mall. All right. My flight was supposed to get in at 11, I mean, 11.50. Uh, yeah, why did it come early? Because I, I had a refundable ticket. I mean, I, uh, was doing How'd you get a refundable ticket? Oh. Hi, Mike. Say I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Hi, Matt. It's nice to see you. Hi, Matt. How are you? Okay. Hope you were here. We miss you. Okay. So you're on. You Go. Go. Hey, Matt. How are you? We miss you a whole bunch. Oh, get Hope long. you get home soon. Turn around. How's it going? Just we miss you. We love you. I love you, Matt. I miss my hugs on Sunday mornings. Ready? Okay. Never say that again. Okay, everyone, just John Craig, get over here. Ready? One, two, three. cheer you guys up a lot like a real lot Matthew! are you serious <laughs> oh Nikki oh, are you kidding me <laughs> well now that it's on <laughs> what the heck? how did you do I love you too so cool. I don't know Yeah, but... <laughs> I'm really here. I'm really here. Oh. 
Taking a picture of you, yeah. always. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, he's way so much taller than you. I know. That's crazy. Oh my God, it's totally crazy. Yep. <laughs> They are always so special, the reunion of those who serve with their loved ones back home. And this weekend, more emotions when friends and family gathered for the homecoming in St. Paul. And Fox 9's Tim Blotz was there. It does feel like forever. On a tarmac full of signs, there is one that needs no explanation. My husband Brad's about to come home from his deployment, and I promised him that when he landed, that I would make sure the second he was here, he knew if he had a son or a daughter. He's been waiting since June to find out. When he left, I didn't even look pregnant. <laughs> it all makes the wait painful, yet gloriously satisfying, because it all comes down to this. Daddy! Daddy! And this. Oh, it's a boy! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
I love you. Feels unbelievable. I've been waiting a long time to hear <laughs> about this. I'm so proud of him. So proud of him. <laughs>
New at 6, a surprise homecoming just in time for Memorial Day. WTOC's Linda Figueredo is joining us from Effingham County, where a member of the Georgia Air National Guard's 117th Air Control Squadron surprised his daughters on their last day of school. It took weeks of planning and a lot of secrecy, but the Horton family says it was worth it as their three daughters were individually surprised by their father today. Please give a warm welcome to Master Sergeant Horton, or On the last day of school at Effingham Middle School, Megan Horton thought she was just about to watch the talent show, but it kicked off with a huge surprise. Her dad, Master Sergeant Ray Horton, came home just in time for the last day of school after a six-month deployment. I love you. It, it's, it's absolutely wonderful. Um, being gone for six months, missing Christmas and New Year's and, and birthdays that happen, and just being away for six months, this is... This is a homecoming that you dream of. When Master Sergeant Horton saw his baby girl running his way, emotion overwhelmed him. It brought tears to my eyes. I can't lie. Um, this is my baby daughter. So. And the tears wouldn't stop there. Soon after, he arrived at the Effingham County High School to surprise his other daughters. But his eldest, Hannah, found him first. <laughs> you did just see me walk by? Yeah. Then the family went to find the middle child, Emily. He was in such shock, she couldn't even hug her father at first. It was your heart with joy to, to see the happiness that, that you get to see coming home after a long deployment like this. Um, just uh, being able to see their reaction and, and knowing how much they have missed me and I've missed them during this time, it's, uh, it's just heart filling. Priceless. Just priceless. Made it all worth it. It wasn't easy for their mother, Martha, to keep the whole surprise a secret. Rough. I've had to <laughs> tell fibs to my kids. <laughs> I told them that he was not coming home for another week. The Horton family plans on spending this Memorial Day together, enjoying their father's homecoming and spending much needed time together on a family vacation. Live in Effingham County, Linda Figueredo, WTOC News. We have some breaking news. Stephen Bryce Chetney. 